Welcome to Grateful Kids. I'm Ashley, the art teacher, and this is... Katie. I'm Conrad. <laughs> okay, and today we're going to learn about... Albright Dubreil. <laughs> Dubreil lived 500 years ago, from 1471 to 1528. He lived to be 56 years old. He lived in the German city of Nuremberg. Do you guys know where Germany is at? No. It's in Europe. He was the third child in the family of 18 children. <laughs> He's 15 little brothers. I can't even imagine having 18 children. <laughs> and he but, had 15 little brothers and sisters. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Dereer trained as a goldsmith under his father in his father's workshop until his father realized he had a talent in drawing. And then he was sent to be an apprentice. Do you remember what an apprentice is? A helper. Yep, he helps for free to learn stuff, right? He became an apprentice to a painter at age 15. Dreer made oil paintings, watercolors, drawings, and prints. Whoa. And they all are very good. He drew a picture of himself when he was a really young boy. He also painted a painting of himself. So let's talk about some of his most famous artworks. He has a ton of prints of what he called the Apocalypse, his praying hands, the young hare, pond in the woods, the rhinoceros, willow mill. Durer actually visited Italy and we've talked about three other artists from Italy, but we're still talking about the High Renaissance period, and he was strongly influenced by the art that was there. He communicated with major artists, such as the ones that we've been talking about, including Raphael. This is important because Raphael agreed to have some of his artwork printed, which allowed him to become more and more famous because his artwork could reach more and more people. And Dreer, also, who knew Raphael, had a lot of his work printed. And back in those days, you had to engrave the things that you wanted to print. And then they would stamp it on pieces of paper, kind of like you would think like a newspaper stamps the pictures and the words onto a paper and a paper and a paper over and over again. And so you could make a lot. So Dreer's prints were made out of woodcuts and they were engraved. So what he did is he took some wood and he cut out the pictures in them. So since Dreer was known for his prints, we're going to do our own printmaking today. Are you guys excited to do that? Yeah! Let's be creative! You're going to need paper. I'm just going to use computer paper. You're going to need one color of paint. You're going to need paper plates to put the paint on. You're going to need styrofoam. You're going to use a brayer or you can just use a paint roller. A tool to imprint into the styrofoam. You can use a blunt pencil. You don't want anything too sharp. You can use your clay tools as well. And you'll want some paper towels for cleanup. That's all you're going to need, so let's get started. So with printmaking, everything's going to be opposite than what's going to be on the paper. So for example, if I draw a heart on the paper, the heart's going to be dark, right? But if I draw a heart on my styrofoam, what it's going to end up being is white, where I drew my heart. Okay, so you have to think opposite. Also, if you do any writing, you're going to have to do it backwards. Okay, if you write your name backwards. <gasps> and then it will be forwards when you print it. Okay, so you guys can go ahead and draw whatever you want. I want you to be creative. Now be careful that you don't push too hard in here and you make holes. All right, you don't need to pr press too hard. And also, if you want something to stand out, you're going to have to lower all the areas around it. For example, if I were to print this right here, this would be dark and this would be light, okay? Because this is raised up and this is lower. Of course, we're going to cut this off and your drawing will be in this, okay? Does that make sense? All right, you can use whatever tools that you would like to use. 
So one thing we learned from cutting it out that would probably be better if you did your design on this side with this coming up because of the words hefty because <laughs> there were words on this side and we didn't want those to imprint. And go ahead and create. It's it's really fun for the kids to try to write their name backwards. <laughs> yeah, I did it. <laughs> I did it. All right. All letters backwards too. So we got blue on this side. No. Oh, this is brand new paint, so I have to take Yeah, this I put a hole in mine, so no problems with mine. Okay. Ours are red. I just said you're going to need these paper towels for something. <laughs> okay, you can just rip open my lid. I put a hole in it. <laughs> okay. So you get your paint and you put it on your plate. So you're going to want to take your roller and roll your paint with the roller. Ooh, it's pretty. Okay. And you don't want it to be very thick because you don't want the paint to settle into your lines. Yeah. So That's just bad. get some of this paint off here. That's probably enough. So you're going to roll it onto here. Okay, and see how the lines are white. Might need a little more paint on it. I am fine. So I said fine. I get paint on the table, is it okay? It's fine. Okay. I can just wash it off. And then you're going to like a printing press, but you press it. You're going to press it face down onto your paper. Don't smear it around at all. And yeah, press it down. So printing and pressing. Just gonna press all over it so that transfers the color. Okay. And then lift up and see. What you created? That's and then pretty you're cool, keep huh? That. Yeah, you can keep that. Are you ready to do yours? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And now you can make as many prints as you want different of your design. Colors. You could do different colors. I'll do blue next. Okay. And that's they what's cool about prints, yeah. That's what's awesome about prints is you can make this over and over again. The same design. Print it, print it. This is easy. Watch out for your paper though, you're gonna get the colors on. It's okay. This is gonna be cool. Press it, press it. Okay. All right. This way. All right, this yep. Way. Down and then press it. See how mine turned out? That's how it's. Hopefully, that's how yours is going to turn out. Is this the way Okay, and you can make as many as you want. You can go ahead and lift it up. Ta da! Hey, you got your name right! <laughs> <laughs> I got mine too, but it's. Hello, Finnish Prince! Give us a thumbs up! Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Share your artwork with hashtags, Grateful Kids. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye. It was awesome. Should we make some more? Yes. yes. Bye. 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 That was fun. I'm gonna Even do that color for me. Shirt. All my friends get one and I get one. Wait, is that green? Yeah. So are you going to make and some for a few of your friends? A few of my friends and daddy and you and I can make a bunch. I'm like going to have coffee and coffees and send them around the world and be famous. Captain <laughs> <laughs> wants to be famous. <laughs> I am famous. I'm on Spotify.